Good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining. It's catalog launch day at Stamping Up. If you are joining, please say hello and let me know you're there. My name is Kelly Wentworth. I am a Stamping Up demonstrator from Kenny Bunk, Maine. And it's ex exciting today. It's our launch of our annual catalog. Hey, Kim, how are you? So good to see you. Did you have a nice birthday? I've been thinking about you. Hey, ladies, good to see you all. Say hello once you join. I'm just checking my feed to make sure I'm live. Hi, Diane. Thank you for joining. Good to see you, ladies. It's exciting. It's catalog launch day. I cannot believe we're into May. I feel like I have just lost like almost like three or four weeks of my life. It's, it's crazy. Hey, June. Good to see you. It, I, I can't believe it's May 4th. I really cannot. It's crazy. How are you ladies doing? <clears throat> Diane, I'm so happy you're on. Good to see you, my friend. Okay. How you all doing? I hope you're doing well. Hope your week is going okay so far. So it's annual launch day of our catalog. Um, do you all have your catalogs? I hope you do pretty exciting it's so pretty there's so many products in here new products <clears throat> okay so we're gonna get started <clears throat> so I wanted to share let's see hold on let me get my So, again, thank you for joining. Please remember to share my video. And if you share the video, your name goes into a drawing for a weekly giveaway. And last week, I was giving away these beautiful leaf trinkets. These are so pretty. Can you see those? How pretty they are. And the winner from last week is Cynthia M. Congratulations, Cynthia. Cynthia is actually on my team. Congratulations. I will get these out in the mail to you. Again, thank you for sharing my video. It really helps my small business. And this week... For sharing my video, I am giving away our retired pokey tools. Do you guys remember these? We, used, we call them pokey tools. Oh my goodness. Um, what is the actual name of it? Let's see if it says. Well, it has the red, it has the rubber on the end, and you see me use this is what it looks. This is my old one. 
This is a very, look how I've had this forever. But I use these all the time. Now, we have our take your pick tools. Those are the re replacement ones. But um, I had this one in my stash, and I thought that I would give it away for anybody who may not have a pokey tool. So this is the giveaway tool for this week. It's the pokey tool. So if you share my video, make sure you comment in the comment section that you shared the video. And um, this will be the giveaway for next week. Hi, Karen. Good to see you. If you guys are just joining, make sure you say hello so I know you're there. Cynthia usually pops on. Cynthia is the winner from last week for sharing my video. Thank you to all who shared. I really appreciate it. It helps me out so much. And the pokey, brand new pokey tool is going to be um, the giveaway for next week. Okay. Thank you, Karen. Appreciate it. Okay. So we're going to get started, and I want to share that um, I started playing, finally, started playing with some of my new products, and I began, I can open up the catalog now, because it's live, so I started with the Pansy Patch Suite, and I have to be honest, um, there's a lot of product. This is on page 29 of the annual catalog. So if you have, those of you who have the catalog, um, it's on page 29. And this is the stamp set and these are the dies. And I'm gonna tell you, there are 21 dies to this die set. And there are 23 stamps in the stamp set. And you'll see that there's some beautiful um, sentiments with various fonts. You have a thank you, a happy birthday, a hello, love you. A very versatile stamp set for all occasions. So if you like a stamp set that has stamps and has sentiments, this is a really good one. Um, and then it has um, the, what we call like two-step stamping. So you have this one, and then you have the detail. And then you have this pansy, and then you have the detail. And then these are the elements that go with it. You have two leaves and two details for the leaves. And then um, you have your um, some of your flowers and stems over here. There is a lot. So you can create pansies using a stamp set or you can create pansies just using the dies. The dies are just as wonderful. Now let me get my little cheat sheet. Let me find my cheat sheet because I moved it before the live. As I started playing with this set, um, you got overwhelmed, Karen? <laughs> I had to figure out how to use these. And I and so because I was struggling with it, I wanted to I wanted to give you a little bit of a tutorial on how to use this in case you plan on getting this set, or maybe you already have this set. Oh my gosh, I can't even find what I did with it. What the heck? All right, I'm going to go over some of what I did, and I'm going to share with you what I learned, and hopefully it'll help you learn how to use this set, okay? <clears throat> so, page 29, if you want to...
Okay, so I'm going to show you what I'm going to do to help help you out. How many of you like the pansy sap? Or think you're going to get the pansy sap? All right, let me get my... I'm going to do this. One of the things I've learned for me is I don't know a lot about flowers. So this was a learning for me as well. So let me... You're not sure, Diane? Okay, let me show you what I thought I would do, which I think will help, is um, I'm going to get a piece of scrap, okay? And I'm going to show you how these work. So I'm going to bring the stamps in. And what I've figured out by process of elimination <clears throat> is, oh, hang on, if you look at the set, the way that it's lined up here is in the order that you could use them. So here's the, the large pansy, you have, the, you have the what we call the bold, the solid, and then you have the detail, and then you have the accent pieces. And then you have the small pansy, and then you have the detail, and then you have the accent pieces. Okay, so I'm going to show you how I've, how I've learned to figure this out and see if that helps you. And I'm going to use a couple of different... I'm going to start out with Highland Heather and Gorgeous Grape, okay? Because I know, for me, pansies, I see a lot of of those colors in pansies, but they don't have to be just these colors. So I've used a, a couple of different ones. Okay, and we're gonna go in order. So let's, let me get this in here and make sure you guys can see. You guys see okay? Now, <clears throat> typically, just in case you guys didn't know this, when you have two-step stamping, if you have a bold stamp and you have a detailed stamp, the detailed one is the darker one, okay? You're going to use the darker one on the detail, and the bold is going to be the lighter. So just as a rule of thumb, detail is the darker one, okay? And typically, now everybody has their own style of stamping, but um, in this particular case, it was easier for me to do the detail one first, and then I could see it better. And I'll show you what I mean by doing the, the, the bold one after. So let's start with, we're going to do Gorgeous Grape, which is darker than Highland Heather. Okay? So we're going to do Gorgeous Grape. And I'm going to show you what that looks like. Okay? And let me get my cleaner. So we're going to need that. And then I'm going to show you how, you know, what made, what, how it was easier for me. And now I'm going to take the bold stamp, and I'm going to use Highland Heather on that one. And, and, and it, to me, I, it was easier to see where you, can you guys see that in the camera? And then you just go down like that. Can you see that okay? Now, you can keep going, okay, and the next one, like I said, you go in order. The next one would be this one, so that's this one. Now, you can do, I've done various ones in here. I will show you. Here's one, just nothing in the middle. Here's one using Daffodil Delight, and then here's one just keeping more white because I've seen pansies with the purple and a lot of white. Yeah, it's a, it is a great trick and it really helped me in this particular case. Now, I don't always do the detail one first, but in this case, it, it was easier because on some of the other ones, they didn't come out as good. So that I, it was process of elimination for me. So let's get the Daffodil Delight and I'll show you. 
and we're going to use this stamp right here which is the next one in line and that you can see exactly where that goes okay and then the last one is this little one and again I went right in order only I did do the detail first I switched those but that worked better for me um, <clears throat> like I said and then this one and now we're going to use this one and for the little one I'm going back to the gorgeous grape so I'm going to go back to the gorgeous grape on that one okay and again that fits right in the middle hopefully I can see that okay So what do you think? Does that look like a pansy? Oh, thank you, Karen. It is a great trick because you have to figure out <clears throat> what works for you. And what works for me may not work for you. But in this particular case, it worked better this time doing it that way. Um, now, the last piece on here is we can and you'll see I did some different ones and I'm going to show you a different color we can go back to the daffodil delight and we can do the the little dot in the middle now you can there is this stamp that goes right in the middle you can use um, our some kind of an embellishment it looks really pretty in that and then we also have the die and there is, um, let me see, what is, it? no, embellishment, and this one, embellishment or the stamp would work in that. Oh yeah, there is a, there is, here's the, here's the, the little die dot right here. So you can use any of those options in the center of your, of your flower, okay? So that's using the purple, the gorgeous gray, and the Highland Heather. Let's try a different color, okay? And I want to show you, I will use Blackberry Bliss, and I'm using the new Fresh Freesia, and these really, really look nice together, okay? So let's try this one. <clears throat> So again, we're going to clean the stamps. I'm going to start with the detail one for the darkest. So we'll do Blackberry Bliss. Okay. These pansies are so pretty. And now we're going to do the bold in the Fresh Freesia. Look at how beautiful those colors look together. Can you see that okay on the camera? What do you think? Now, again, you don't always have to do all four steps. If you want to skip the yellow and you want to just go to the smaller one, I would go back to the Blackberry Bliss on this one. And we will put that right there. You could do it that way and you can leave the white. Because I've seen a lot of pansies that have a lot of white and that's pretty too. Okay. And again, I just, what I, these are all my practice ones. Just trying to figure out like the best way to do it. But when you do the, when you do the detailed one first, and there's already red on this, but don't worry about it. It doesn't change the um, the um, the stamp at all. It still works perfectly fine. Um, it just you can line them up like really, really easy. And then here's some more of the gorgeous grapes. And then I tried it. Let's left it plain. Added the yellow. Left it with the white. Here's one all cut out. You use your die, and you just cut it out. Here's some more of my practice ones. Left it plain, added the yellow um, in the middle. This one didn't stamp so hot. That was probably one of my first ones. And then the same holds true on the small one. Okay, so I'll show you the small one. 
So we will do the detail and the bold, okay? And again, I'm going to do it the same way. So I'm going to do Blackberry Bliss on the detail for the little one. And then I'm going to do the bold in the Fresh Breezia. And you can, you can see, can you see how easy it is to line it up? Can you see that on camera? I hope that is showing up, how easy it is to line it up. Can you see that? Get my finger out of the way. And then again, if you want to do the yellow, that will go like right in the middle. And you can leave it like that, or there's also a smaller one for this, because remember I told you, you have the bold, the detail, and then the, the little um, accent piece. But you don't have to use all the pieces with each one. Um, so, and then here's some more that I did where I was, I, I did a bunch of practice ones. And I wanted to show you this first, just because when I go to do my card, it might help you understand the stamp set a little bit better. It was, um, it was a learning process for me to kind of figure out what was the best way to use this. So I thought if I gave you some samples, I just think they're beautiful. They look so real. And then again, on this one, we use the dot on, in the middle on that one. Okay, so let's get stamping. I'll make a card. Any questions on on this at all do you have any questions i hope i and what i've done is i like i i've done a bunch of accent pieces and i just kind of keep them in a bag okay Oh my goodness, I am so mad. I did a template for you guys, and now I can't see where I put it. I put it somewhere, and I was going to show you how it works with the with the dies. What the heck did I do with that? All right. So let me put this aside and we'll get started. So here's the first card. And I literally case this out of the catalog. So if you look on the on the page, it is very similar to this one. I didn't do as many flowers but it was the first one I made. I wanted to kind of get started on it. So don't hesitate to case these out. And if you're a demonstrator, you get to look at the card recipes and get a sense of what they, what they use. So let's put this here. So I'm using, and I, I'm gonna tell you, I absolutely love these new colors. This is the Soft Succulent. And it's eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter. Let's 
put that down. And then you'll notice, do you remember these? These carried over from the old catalog. These are called square vellum doilies. You get 24 of them in a package. These are the bomb. These are really, really nice. And I think I had only used them maybe once or twice. So I was like, oh, I've got these. I'm so happy that they carried over it. But they're vellum. And that is going to go there. And then I have the DSP from this pack. One is one inch by four and a quarter. And then the other piece is three quarters by four and three quarters. So it kind of goes over like that. Now, what I did do on this was I cut it to ex um, so to, so it wouldn't be as big. Because if you look, see how much higher it goes? I didn't want it that high. And in the book, it says to do that. So I am actually going to cut this in half. And that gives you flexibility on how the width of, of your vellum that you want to have. So you can do it like, because this is going to get covered up anyways. So let me get my... <clears throat> so what we'll do is I think you guys have seen me do this trick before right you put your Tombow glue down on your silicone mat and let's see and then I have one of these containers with my little sponge and what I do is this and it's just easier especially on vellum okay we'll move that out of the way <clears throat> And then it sticks right down and you can overlap this and that's just an easy way these silicone mats are really nice I use them all the time okay <clears throat> so this is the part of the pansy patch the paper And I think I showed this. This is this paper is gorgeous. And this is the one I'm using right here. And it has gingham on the back side. And let me get my tape runner. And so we'll put this down. And then this piece is three quarters by four and three quarters. And that just kind of overlaps that. You can't type tonight, Karen. There we go. Okay, and what we're going to do is we are going to... So on this one, I used the, the Blackberry Bliss and the Fresh Frieza, which I think looks really pretty with these colors. So... And I've already stamped it here. I 
that one. And then we'll just cut it out. one and we'll run that through the mini boss too bad. I might put it through again, see if I can trim that up a little bit. Sometimes I do that and then I trim it up and then it, I ruin it, but we'll try it. It's moving. Don't move on me. So you can put it back in there and just kind of line it up again. Love my little mini boss here. Okay. So what do you think of this set so far? And then you'll notice, I don't know if you can see, I used these. I thought they matched really pretty. And these carried over. Well, I was really happy to see that. I thought, and so I just used that in the middle. Now, on these leaves, I stamped them in the soft succulent. And then with the... The deeper one, what was that one called? Um, Ever Evening Evergreen. And then we're going to put them up on Dimensional. So let me move this. And... Hi, Sharon. Thank you for joining. You love this set? I was trying to share with the ladies that it was a learning process for me. Okay. So we will put this one like maybe right there. And the leaves will just tuck in under. Yeah, this is a really nice set. Beautiful, beautiful flowers, but it, there's a learning to it, um, I thought. And so I was sharing some of that. And we'll do this one. And we'll just tuck that in under there, like that. And then we have our little strip for the sentiment and it's a little hello from me to you and we'll use Blackberry Bliss for that Oh, 
pretty good pretty good yeah I mean I I went through and and talked about how you want to use these basically in order although typically when you have your bold die and your detail die you do bold for a lot of people do everybody has their own style in this particular case with this set I found doing the detail first in the darker and then doing the lighter in the bold you can see it a lot easier so go back and watch the beginning of the video and I think hopefully you'll agree that it works better that way okay let's bring the card back in and we'll tuck that I got to trim that up a little bit yeah I spent several days working on this um, working with this set so okay I think on this one I didn't pop it up but I think on this one I'm gonna do that I'm going to use the minis. And we'll see what the difference is. I mean, popping it up, not popping it up. I'm really mad, though. I made a cheat sheet with the dies, and I can't even see where I put it. If I don't find it before I close tonight, I will post it um, when I do. It's here, so it's right here somewhere. And then I again, I just think these these pearls really match, really nice. And. So I did the soft pink in the middle. So you again, that you can put an embellishment in there. And then I used some white ones. Just kind of going around. But this set is a gorgeous set. It really is. What do you think? This is right out of the catalog. Pretty similar to the one they had. So you can leave it white and have the pansy have white. You can go with the yellow. I wanted to show you two different kinds. Isn't that pretty? Now wait till you see the next one. The next one I absolutely loved. I, as I got going with it, I thought, okay, now I'm getting the hang of this. Let me get the other one. Look at these colors. Isn't that gorgeous? And so on this one, I changed up the colors. And let me get those. That's not the one I want. So in this one, I used pale papaya. And polished pink. These are beautiful. Don't you think they're pretty together? Okay, so let's talk about this one. So again, I used the soft succulent for the card base. 
And then I use, which is eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter. Get my pieces here. And then I took four by five and a quarter, and I will put these measurements on my blog. And I embossed that with the ornate floral. And this carried over. Beautiful, beautiful embossing folder. If you don't have this, you're going to want that. Okay, so we can go ahead and we can put that on. I'm going to use Tombow because it's embossed, so it has indentations, and you want a stronger glue to keep that. There we go. Make sure I have it going the right way. And then I used the Stitched So Sweetly dies. Thankfully, these carried over, which I use these a lot. I believe the stamp set that these came with did not carry over, but um, the, the dies did. And I absolutely love these. I use them all the time. And so I use the Evergreen, Evening Evergreen, for the larger one. And we're going to go ahead and put that on dimensionals. And I did pop that up. I think it looks nice popped up off that embossing folder what do you think do you like the colors of this one I love it and we will put that about there and then I use the smaller scallop and we're going to stamp on that and again this stamp set has all these different sayings thank you happy birthday I did thank you maybe I'll do happy birthday or maybe I'll stick with thank you let me see and remember I told you the, the case this is how you do the new case the new um, you know if you don't want to use the plastic I don't think I'm going to use the plastic pieces I'm trying it without them um, I think I am going to use the happy birthday but it it's really nice because you'll know whether or not you're missing a stamp when you go to put your stamps back. And I just think it's easier to see than it is to keep pulling them in and out of those plastic pieces. So, I think I'll do happy birthday. I always use birthday ones too. Isn't that pretty? And I'm going to use the evening evergreen, which I absolutely love. Isn't that pretty? Dainty, and it's got a beautiful font. Now, I loved the way my flower came out, so I'm going to show you how I did that. So we'll get a scrap piece of paper here. And then I used the blending brushes is how I did it. So, in this case, <laughs> hold on. So I want to show you, so these, these are what we call the smaller petals. That's these ones right here. I've got pieces going everywhere here. 
Okay. So I'm going to bring up and just show you how I did that really quick. are going to do one of those and then this is what we call the larger petal so we'll do that my paper is a little bit big but we'll see if we can get it to go through Okay, Karen, thank you for stopping by. So this is the difference between the small and the large. Okay? And I did want to just show you that. <clears throat> and then what we're going to do is we're going to bring in the brushes. And the polished pink, let me get my seat here. The polished pink is going to be on the outside, and the pale papaya is going to be on the inside. So we'll do the polished pink first. Do you guys have the blending brushes yet? You guys, you know I use these all the time. To me, it changed the whole look of this this card and this flower. I even went back and added more color on my first one after I did that. So there's that. I've got all kinds of pieces here. And I literally just went around the edges. You like them, Sharon? Thank you. Okay. And then when you're done, uh, if you only have three brushes, you just rinse these out. Under, just put your thumb over with some water. And it came right out when I did these. These are the same brushes I used to do the first one. It's amazing how beautiful these colors go together, though. Okay, we'll, try, we'll start with that. And now let me get the other brush. And we'll go more in the middle. Need more pink. Might need more pink on those.
pretty. And you just kind of brush it out in, in the middle, outward. And maybe a little bit more over here. And then I think I am going to put a little bit more of the pink. Bring the pink back in. But don't you, don't you think these go really nice together? I think they do. There we go. That looks better. Wasn't sure about this pale papaya, but I'm loving it already. What do you think? Yeah, I think they look really nice together. Okay, so what I did was I'm going to use, let me get my glue dots. I found my glue dots worked really well down on the corner of that one. That one. And that one. And then you just kind of crisscross them. And that's what makes like the bigger flower. And then this, you just kind of position where you think you want it. What do you think? Okay, so then on this one, now the first one I did, I stamped the leaves with the two-tone. On this one, I used the die cuts, okay? So these are the die cuts. So they're, now these dies cut and embossed. You see the lines? So they're cutting and embossing at the same time, which is really cool. And I did the soft succulent and then in the um, leaf and then the accent piece, I used the evening hunter. Is that what it is? I think it is. And then these just literally just go right on there. So I'll cut a little bit of glue. Don't need a lot. And do you see how they just line right up? That's one. And we'll do another one. Very easy to line up. See, oops, that one needs the pokey tool. Here we go. There we go. And the glue, why I like the, the liquid glue, it just gives you a couple of, you know, a few seconds to, to line it up if it's not exactly on. So there's two. And then I did one big one. And we're going to do the same thing with that and the detail and we're just going to line those up they work really well so you can do stamping to put your leaves together or you can do um use just the dies it depends on the look you're trying to get i guess evening evergreen isn't it beautiful i can't wait for christmas there okay so we're going to put these up on dimensionals one, two, 
three there. And let me bring oh, let's start putting this together. This we can glue down. This fits perfectly in here. I love this card. I absolutely love this card. I, you guys, if you don't have the new ink colors, you have to get them. They're just stunningly beautiful. They really are. Okay, so we're going to do this like that. And I like popping it up. And then, okay. And then I did the soft succulent with this and the pale papaya and you see even that one is cut and embossed can you see that in the camera there you go can you see that so there's my piece uh oh there it is All right, I'm looking for my my goodness gracious. This isn't the one I well, we're gonna need that piece. Oh, there it is. I was gonna say I know I cut one. So again, these easily line rate right up, ladies. Look at this. I just think they're so pretty together. I am just loving all of these new colors so far. But I, I spent a lot of time on this set, I will tell you. I played and played and tried different things. So that goes on like that. And then this piece goes right over it like, oh my God, I just think it's stunning. I just think it's really, really pretty. So we'll put that on there. And then on this one, let me bring the card back in. A little bit of glue. I was gonna pop it up, but I didn't know that that might have been like we'll do that and then we'll just take the leaves and pop those in and I did now you can do two, you can do three, and then have this one coming out over here. And then I cut this one out in the, what is this, polished pink, just to kind of give it a little bit of boldness there in the center. And it lines up perfectly on your big leaf. Can you see that? And then you take one of these dots. Now this, where I got that, is you cut three out at a time. So it cuts out three of them in the dies. So they're nice to have. You can cut out a few of them. And, um, and like I said, I just put them in a little baggie. And then this fits like perfectly in there. Oh, you can put, um, you know, a rhinestone. Whoop. Some glue on my fingers. What do you think? Okay, so let me get this out of 
out of the way. I fell right in love with this card. I was going to do three cards, but I really wanted to take the time to show you how to use the dies and the stamps and, and show you, give you some ideas on ways to mix and match them. Um, because for me, it was a little bit of a learning curve, but it's not a tough thing. And if you love pansies, this is a beautiful, beautiful set. And then just get a little baggy and put your extra pieces. I did up like a bunch of pieces as I was trying different things. Hey, Vicki. I hope you ladies like these card, this, these two cards. I spent a lot of time playing and trying to learn how to use these to share with you. And um, but I'm glad I did because um, it's a beautiful set, and there's a lot to it. And you can let the dies do all the work. Um, or you can use the stamps, or you can use a combination of both. So, what do you think? Do you like them? I hope. Okay, ladies, it's so good to see you. Thank you so much for stopping by. Don't forget to share my video. And if you don't have a catalog, um, you can go on my website. And... Um, or on my blog and it'll be updated and uh, the new one will be out there shortly and if you need to be on my mailing list and you're not just let me know and I will take care of you thank you so much have a great rest of the night and I hope you have a great week talk to you later bye